Okay, YouTube, uh, again, I wanted to go over a few things. This is five things you need to be able to do when you go to the dealership so you can have a faster uh, process and uh, get out of that dealership fast as possible. Five things you need when you get to the dealership. Always have your driver's license is number one. Two, you wanna have your current insurance card that is violet. Uh, update, make sure your registration is current and also your payoff information if you're trading a vehicle and your title as well. Uh, that will speed up the process for you. I know, well as I know, I don't be in the dealership five hours trying to buy a car. If you already got your car picked out, great. You know, uh, let the salesman go over all the features and functions uh, or the things that is very important to you. Uh, make sure it's the car you definitely want. Uh, usually a salesman should sit down with you, uh, go over your, your, which is called a needs assessment. That means sitting down and going over all the options you want on the car and have exactly what you want. Now you always have some things that you will need, but your your uh, needs is always going to outweigh the wants, so to speak. Uh, Addition to that, test drive the car, make sure how you like how it handles, how it drive, and make sure it's something you definitely want. Once that's done, you know, um, of course you'll go to go to the desk and you'll get your numbers together and uh, agree upon that. Uh, you'll fill out your credit app and all that stuff and your privacy notice. Uh, the salesman get everything put together there. He'll get the finance. Uh, in that period of time, he should be going over your books with you while you're waiting to get in the finance. Uh, the quick reference guide, or if that's the situation, or um, the owner's manual, um, things of that nature. Also, uh, getting the phone paired up would be a, a thing to be able to do before you get a finance. So that's all done when you leave, as uh, far as that goes. Um, in addition to that, um, I always tell people, always get there early in the a.m. The faster you can get there in the, in the morning time, the faster you can get the process moving, uh, the faster you can get out that dealership. Uh, don't be driving not one car, two car, three cars, but have a car that you wanna buy in Pacific. There's internet source, as you know, you can look at the car in detail, what they're asking for the car, uh, have a, look at all the features and functions of the car. Even these days, you can see the car facts on the vehicle for, for crying out loud. It's all right there for you people. So make it easy for the dealership and make it easy for yourself, okay? Uh, again, that's quick tips if you wanna say, five things you need when you get to a dealership so you can get in there and get out fast, especially on a Saturday because it gets crazy busy for you know, uh, Finance starts stacking up and you can be in there, you know, late at night for that matter. All depends what time the dealer closed. You know, a lot of dealers don't close at eight o'clock at night. I done been late at the dealers at 10, 11 o'clock at night, you know, as far as that goes. So uh, make it easy with yourself and, uh, you know, like I said, once you have the car you like and everything, um, expedite the process a lot faster and uh, you'll be out there in no time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See you later.